Okay, so uh, let's let's talk about anchor text. Uh, what is anchor text? Anchor text is another component of the link, and it's a very useful component. So uh, this is what a link normally looks like, right? You have an href, and you have the URL where you're going to, and then you have a title. Uh, not a title, but the text that gets highlighted, the text that the users actually click on. Right? Um, and that text is what we're after. That is called anchor text. And if you think about what it is, it's actually a really neat little thing. It's a short string of text that is designed in a way to be informative to a human being reading the page. Right? This part is not going to be read by a human. A browser will take this and interpret it. Right? This part is what the human eyes see. And as a as a web designer, when you're building a page, what you put in the link is the short string that's going to tell your readers why they should click on that link. Right? So what you're doing is you're trying to take the web page and summarize it in a few words. Right? Because you can't write a paragraph in a link, right? That, that would look nice. So you try to summarize what is there at that page in a couple of words so that your users will understand it. So what you're doing is you're actually providing a short, condensed description of the page where the link points to. And that description is, most, is usually human-generated. So a human being is summarizing that page for you in a couple of words. <clears throat> so uh, that's, that's what it basically looks like, right? You've got some page. And you don't even have to know what is at this page if you know that it has these three links and that is the anchor text on those links, you know what that page is about. Right? It doesn't, at some level, it doesn't even matter what's on the page. You already know what, it, what is there. So uh, what you're basically doing is it, by trying to leverage anchor text, you are using humans, web designers or whoever, whoever puts stuff on the web, to summarize web pages for you. Uh, and this is very powerful because, uh, um, because the, the same idea, if the page has many inlinks uh, with different anchor text, the same content is going to be summarized in lots and lots of different ways. Remember at the beginning of the course, we spent uh, three lectures talking about vocabulary mismatch. Like how do you deal with the fact that a uh, query could have one word and a document could be using a different word, right? So I have a neck hack. Uh, make ache, and the and the and the medline uh, document uh, says cervicalgia, vocabulary mismatch. Two different terms that refer to the same thing. Well, anchor text allows you to use every ev every creator on the web to solve this problem for you because one of them is going to say neck pain and point to the right page. So what you're doing is you're basically using users to uh, to do query expansion for you or to do pseudo feedback for you. Uh, it's a really powerful idea. So, um, and um, um, when, uh, when, when they came up with it, by the way, it's, so if you just compare it to head-to-head, to head, it's a lot more uh, effective accuracy-wise than just brute force uh, page rank. So what do you do with it? Uh, you collect the anchor text and you treat it as a separate representation of the document. So you index the document itself and then you index the anchor text representation of the document and then you combine the scores and we'll talk about uh, principled ways of combining the scores in a couple of lectures, right? <clears throat> so, uh, by the way, you don't just take the anchor text, you can take the URL tokens as well, they're useful a lot of the time, and you can take surrounding text, so, you know, um, a window of 10 words surrounding the link itself, that is often uh, informative. So, uh, that gives you an additional way to represent uh, the web page. Okay, so uh, let's summarize. Um, we've been talking about things that are specific to the web, and there's basically two parts here. You get lots of data on the web. It's challenging computationally, but it does let you do some things a lot easier, right? We talked about how you can do question answering with the web and how you can uh, basically increase your precision for free, effectively. Uh, talked about page rank and hits, two different ways of uh, compute importance of nodes in the graph. Talked about anchor text. Anchor text, um, so <clears throat> one way to think about it is think about it like page rank, but only it involves Content. Page rank only looks at popularity, and this thing looks at both popularity and what is actually, uh, what is the content of the page. Um, and we talked about link spam and why you want to, um, why, why you want to combat it. Right. Um, I'll stop here. We'll start talking about the probabilistic model in the next lecture. Uh,